and welcome back to the middle of the film. Um, one of the things that we've never illuminated is uh, in uh, when we are using OBS, how are we connecting everything? And I know we have, there's a drawing, um, there's a schematic on the Imagine Image website, okay, fine. But that has been changing, as you can imagine, over the COVID period to now. Uh, a lot of things have uh, been changed, for an, and a lot of experimentation has happened, as you know. Um, Womic, W-O-M-I-C, uh, on, uh, for use on uh, the Android phone so that it can become an audio source on, on, on a computer. Um, uh, the GoPro webcam thing, which we just got fed up with and stopped using because it doesn't work all the time. Uh, it's never reliable, so we went back to, as you know, wired USB cameras. And in some cases, um, the streaming uh, aspect of the GoPro 8 uh, or higher. The only, as I've said, the only problem with the GoPro 8 streaming is that there's a lag, a noticeable lag, so you can't really shoot the face talking with a GoPro 8 streaming. You really, you're streaming, you know, landscapes or action camera, whatever, but it's, yeah, there's a lag. And it's extremely noticeable. All right, so, but one of the things that I don't think we've ever illuminated, even though the drawing might say it, is how do I use this Kimi Fun um, microphone, wireless microphone system uh, with uh, the, the laptop or computer? How does that happen um, be, without using the port, the audio port, 8th inch jack of a computer. You can, um, but if you want to use a USB port, you need an audio adapter. So, um, for instance, um, uh, various companies make a headset adapter. So, a headset that has two jacks, one for microphone, one for earphone, or head, headphones. And those two jacks go into a little adapter, and that little adapter has a USB plug on the end. So it's an A to D converter. It's an audio, it's, a, it's an analog to digital converter. And that plugs into your computer, and there you go. Uh, for instance, Logit um, is it Logitech? I'm not sure who makes the, uh, who makes that? I think it's Logitech. But at any rate, it's a headphone adapter. And once you have that, then you can use, as a matter of fact, I'm sorry, I've just been holding this way down too low. Okay, so then you can use your Kimi Fun uh, microphone or any wireless uh, device. Why? <clears throat> because the, the device, let me put this on properly now. The device, uh, the Kimi Fun set, each one of them that you buy, um, has a dongle, and I, ironically, well, by design, that dongle has an eighth inch jack, and that is supposed to go into a receiving item, computer, amplifier, but it's an eighth inch jack. And I believe it comes with an eighth inch to quarter inch uh, mono plug, but again, that's all analog. So to get it to go to digital, uh, you got to use that little adapter. And you plug that into your computer, and it's wonderful. I mean, it uses a USB port, uh, but it also gets around the potential that the audio jack in a device is not three-way, I should say. It is not two-signal uh, friendly. Uh, for instance, a phone is a two-signal friendly jack, right? The, the eighth-inch jack that's in the bottom of a phone. Uh, in other words, uh, sound going out of it and sound coming in. So, uh, but some devices, for instance, like my old Samsung tablet, only has a sound out. See, 
it's a jack. It's a three. It's an eighth inch jack, but it's not a microphone jack. It's only for listening, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, it was irritating when I found that out, so that's why I went to the digital, you know, device, the USB plug. All right, so that's where we are uh, on that subject. Um, you'll also notice uh, if this is correctly recording. Yes, it is. Um, we've got some more of our, uh, you know, our little pom pom trees out there, and we've got some more uh, activity going on. Um, there has been uh, we're printing a lot of these little buildings for the villages or the manors, uh, and they're fantastic. They're just adorable little buildings, um, just like a monopoly building, but better. Um, and we'll continue doing that until we've got enough of, of the manners covered for a game of this size. Again, it's a four by three table. Um, now, the map, the Excalibur map is actually, like I said, four. You know what? It's actually bigger. I think it's five by five. Because this is a four by three and it's hanging over the edge. So it's got to be a five by five game table. Uh, that could be right, because it was originally for a, a convention game, and it's a five-foot table. So, yeah, it probably, let's say it's a five-by-five. Five. Um, there's, okay, so that's that. Oh, and another thing I wanted to mention was that at this moment, I'm printing a um, grip, um, a grip, uh, a lens um, grip, a uh, cover, but it's not cover. It's a, a, a lens attachable thing uh, that will make it easier to turn a manual focus webcam uh, than it, it comes with. So uh, like the camera I'm looking at right now, it has manual focus, but it's tiny little, you know, it's hard to grip that little thing because they don't a really wide, uh, you know, shoe or a, um, a larger uh, opening for the for the lens because uh, they just don't so Thingiverse again uh, provides for a um, fitting piece that will go on the lens and make it easier to turn to get that and then you could mark it as well for the various focal lengths and I'm printing that right now and it's only supposed to take about 10 minutes so it should be done uh, presently now um, remember when you do print something like that, it may print in a concave like fashion like this, right? So the it's like this. Um, but the truth of the matter is when you put it on the camera, it's convex. So it's like a shoe for a normal, you know, video camera or something. So it's wider at the front than it is at the back because the back is the piece that goes right on the lens. And so what the idea here is it's supposed to make it easier if it fits it'll make it easier to turn that lens. Well, why do you need to do that? Once you set it, it should be fine, right? Well, yes. Like in this case, the camera that I'm looking at right now is a set. It's done. Uh, there's no reason to move it around the game table. But there are other cameras uh, where you may want to move them and they may be manual focus and you need to have that little shoe that goes on the lens. Um, so uh, you can turn the focus better than the, trying to get your fingers on that uh, stupid little lens that they designed it with right and, and by the way years and years ago uh, I got so fed up with that little tiny ring for adjusting the lens uh, the focus that I actually drilled in and screwed in a, a screw a small screw to make it easier to turn let me tell you that was awesome and nobody's ever done that nobody's ever manufactured a hole in the side of the lens so you could screw in something and then use that to turn the, uh, the lens better and it's just amazing um, because, you know, they, 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 nobody, designers, once they design, they're gone. They go to the next project and you can never talk to them. Oh, he was on that years and years ago. Hey, uh, that mold is still out there being manufactured somewhere in China, but there's no way no one's going to ever modify it. So what am I saying? In the supply chain world, you, when you create a object and it's plastic injection molded, and then your designer, crew, engineers, and so on are gone, then you can never modify it. Well, that kind of thinking has to change. There always has to be a way that a product that's currently out there can be modified in its mold. And people would say, well, that's a whole new mold. Well, 
maybe not. Uh, but at least having the ability of changing the mold, uh, well, the truth of the matter is, when they design something, they should think ahead. And I'm sure I would never have thought of putting a peg uh, in the side of a lens uh, to make it easier to turn it. But then again, you know, maybe. That's the point. Um, so at some point in the future, maybe, I have no idea what's going on here. Um, I don't know. It's a puppy hair or, I don't know. I got something like floating around here or something. Um, by the way, oh yeah, that's I, one thing I also wanted to say. Do you ever notice in, in these videos um, that the quality, uh, thankfully, is so good that you can actually see and they're not orbs, okay? They're not paranormal orbs. They're uh, little bits of dust. Uh, and why? Because they have three dogs and there's going to be dust a lot. So, but in, in the uh, quality and the, in the focus and the brightness and so on of these uh, videos, you can see little bits of dust. As a matter of fact, when I had the Microsoft Life Cam, where this camera is right now, you could see dust by the hundreds of little particles. It was like a star field. Um, it was fascinating because I'm like, holy shit, that's a lot of dust, right? And you're breathing that stuff in. Well, the carpet fibers, right? That's why the American Indians like, you know, no, no, we don't go for the, you know, manufactured carpet because we, you know, that's a white man's burden. You know, forget that. We're just going to stick with our, you know, dusty floors because better than carpet uh, uh, fabric fibers that are you're breathing in, right? All right. So anyway, that's that. Okay. So there we are. Uh, ah. Well, the roster system for the manners. Well, we thought about bringing coins in. Eh, what are you going to do? Put the coins in a little box on every manor? I don't know. I don't think so. I think we're just going to probably have to stay with, a, you know, marking something on a piece of paper. I don't know. Uh, I suppose we could use a D20 uh, or something like that, or maybe several D11, uh, D12s. I don't know. Uh, that actually might be a smarter idea. Uh, because I've never seen in the playing of this game years ago, I've never saw a manor get to above, you know, 15, 16, 20 points for each manor. Uh, so maybe a D12 might be sufficient. And if it goes above higher, it goes higher than that, then you could legislate and say, oh, that's it. You're, you maxed out. Uh, but if it does go higher, just add another die. So that's our roster, a little dice uh, on the manor. All right, so there we are, and uh, hopefully this came out good. And we had some issues earlier with the quality, uh, probably the processor uh, and, and so on, but I think we fixed it, so let's hope.